Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about what happens when um, a variable x has been modified uh, by possibly being multiplied by a constant a and possibly having a constant b added to it. What happens to the expected value of that distribution and what happens to the variance of that distribution? So let's get started. If you remember, mu is the expected value of a variable x. Um, and so you get that by um, adding the x values and uh, probabilities of those x values multiplied together. So it's the sum of the x's and the probabilities associated with those x's. That's just the definition of what the expected value of x is. So what happens if that variable x is multiplied by a constant and has another constant added to it? So all I'm going to do is in my formula, replace every x with a times that x plus that constant b. So that's actually what happens to each of those x's. And so now I'm going to expand the parentheses. So what happens is um, the first term is a times xi times pi. So all of those get multiplied together and added together. And then b times pi, all of those get um, added together. And so that's the formula that I, that I get. All right, well, if you look at the sum of the xi's and pi's, that's the exact same thing that I wrote down for e of x, the expected value of x. And if you look at the second sum, that's just the sum of the probabilities. And the sum of all possible probabilities is always going to be 1. So the expected value of ax plus b is going to be a times the expected value of just x plus that constant b. Or it's going to be a times mu plus b, since mu represents the expected value of x. All right, so now let's talk about what that means for variance. Um, so sigma squared, which is another name for the variance of x, is every x squared times the probability associated with that x, um, all of that added together, minus the mean squared. So that is uh, one of the formulas for variance. It's the one that I like, so I, it just helps me to prove these properties. All right, so again, what happens to the variance as x gets multiplied by a constant a and maybe another constant b is added on? So all I'm doing, again, is replacing every xi with a times that xi plus the other constant b. And if all of that is happening to all of the x's, it's also happening to the mean, as we saw in the previous slide. The new mean, um, as we figured out, was going to be a times mu plus b. So I'm replacing mu in the original formula with a times mu plus b. So all of those substitutions have been made. Um, I expand the parentheses and I multiply everything by pi in that sum. Um, and then I square that second parentheses um, later to get that expression there in parentheses. I just wanted to keep the sum and then that final term separate. All right, so now let me separate that uh, sum of three terms into three separate sums, pull out any constants that are not uh, reliant on that counter i, and that's what I get. I get a squared times that first sum of xi squared times pi, plus two times a times b times the sum of xi times pi, plus b squared times the sum of all of the pi's, minus that stuff in parentheses that I'm gonna worry about later. Well, if I look at that second sum, that again is mu or the expected value of x. And if I look at this sum, it's the sum of all of the probabilities, which we know is going to equal one. So I still have that first sum, but then I've got uh, two times a times b times now mu, and I've got b squared times one, which is just b squared. And notice what happens. I can cancel out the uh, negative 2ab mu with the positive 2ab mu, and I can cancel out the positive b squared with the negative b squared. So all I'm left with is those two terms. And both of those are multiplied by a squared, so I can factor out an a squared. And what's in parentheses is the exact formula for the variance of x, the original x. So the variance of a times x plus b is just a squared times the variance of x, or a squared times sigma squared. Notice how it is not reliant on that b constant at all. 
All right, so here are some other properties of AX plus B. I could prove them all to you. Uh, I'm gonna leave that as an exercise for you to do. So the expected value of a constant is just going to be a constant. Um, and the expected value of a constant times X is just going to be that constant times the expected value of X. The expected value of a sum is going to be the sum of the expected values for those functions. And then the variance of a constant is going to be zero because constants don't vary. And then the variance of a constant times X is going to be K squared times the variance of X. Okay, and those are all the properties that you need to know um, as far as taking um, a distribution X, possibly multiplying it by a constant A, possibly adding on a constant of B. Um, if you have any questions on that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.